Metzinger is going to our, going to be our first speaker, and he is doing speech number five in the competent communication. We have manuals of various in-depth, say, textbooks to guide you to become better speakers. And he'll be doing the number five, saying, your body speaks, in title, don't just sit there, do something. Don't just sit there, do something, and the speech length is five to seven. So he is going to practice how he can convey his message through his body movements, say body language. So everybody please help me add to the lectern. Thank you, Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests. Don't just sit there. Do something. This was a message when I was a child. I sat alone with my black and white TV. Yes, black and white. <laughs> and I had to turn the channel manually. Click, click, click. Not buttons, click. And as I wandered through the channels trying to find something in which I really tried to get interested in, I stopped at this one channel. And there was this older gentleman, silver hair, dressed in priest robes. And the message he conveyed was a simple one. Don't just sit there. Do something. And this has rung through my life this whole entire time. And I have tried my best to understand it and do something. And that is my suggestion to everyone here today. Don't just sit there. Do something. Find out what you like. Find out what you're passionate about. It could be communications. It's a vast world out there. Experience it. Your first step is to find out what you like. Sit down with yourself. Ask yourself, what do I like? Do I like dogs? Do I like cats? Do I like trees? Do I like flowers? It doesn't matter. Just find out. A journey of a lifetime starts with that first step. Then the second step. Research what you like. Go to the library. They have a ton of things, ton of books. Go to different libraries. Use the internet. A valuable tool. Believe it or not, there is an organization. There is somebody out there that is, has an agency in which you can get involved in. Get involved. Don't just sit there. Do something. The third step. Contact them. Contact who you're interested in. If there is nobody and you believe in it, start it yourself. Because I'll bet you a bottom dollar that there's somebody out in this world that has that same interest, that would love to help you. So don't just sit there. Do 
do something. And last but not least, the third step is the biggest, scariest step you can do. Follow through. Follow through. Whatever happens, happens. <clears throat> Don't let it deter you. Don't let it get to you. Just do it. Follow through for what you want to do. Because believe it or not, in the long run, it will be the most fulfilling thing you will feel in your lifetime. Don't just sit there. Do something. So I hope you see, as I brought you today, the steps in which you need to take to experience life. Step one, figure out what you want. Figure out what you're interested in. Step two, research. Find out, talk. Look into things. Step three, contact them. Start the ball rolling. And last but not least, step four. <laughs> the scary one. <sighs> Follow through. So fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, please, don't just sit there. Do something. Thank you.